Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Pages Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 184. Folder structure of the Power Platform CLI download. In tip number 137, I talked briefly about the folder structure you'll see if you use the PA portal download command in the Power Platform CLI. In this tip, I want to dive a bit deeper into it. Certain tables are represented by a single YAML file and are placed in the root directory. These are usually less complex tables, either those with few columns or others that aren't related to another table in a parent-child relationship. Examples include site markers, site settings, web roles, and web page access control rules. Tables that are represented by more than one file are organized into folders. As an example, Web templates are represented by a YAML file that contains most of the columns and an HTML file that contains the main source. Web files are also represented by multiple files, although these are all grouped together in a single folder. Tables that are a bit more complex, but aren't part of a parent-child relationship, are grouped in their own directory with one YAML file per row. This includes page templates, table permissions, and lists. Content snippets have their own folder, with separate files for each language, and a separate file for the value. Basic forms and advanced forms have a nested structure, which includes any associated metadata, and for advanced forms, their steps. JavaScript is also separated into its own file. Web pages have separate files for the root page, along with the localized pages. Separate files will be created for the copy, JavaScript, and CSS columns. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Pages tip number 184 on folder structure of the Power Platform CLI download useful.